Hey Mac Geeks, it's Adam and we're sitting here. It's June 23rd, the evening before uh, the launch of the iPhone or what was supposed to be the official launch of the iPhone. I'm going to be going into the Apple store in the morning and uh, picking up my iPhone 4. And what Apple started actually shipping the devices today, so many people had received their iPhone 4s and we started to get reviews and reports of how the device was working, people's impressions of it. And late this evening, as I was running through the blogs and stuff like that, I saw a whole series of articles or reports that concerned me that there may be some issues with the iPhone 4 and its antenna. People were, were reporting that it was losing signal when they were holding it in their hand. And immediately people began to speculate that it had to do with a potential you know, pretty major flaw in the new design of the iPhone. Uh, if you've been uh, following that, the new iPhone has a stainless steel band that goes around the entire outside of the phone uh, to hold the you know, sort of two plates of glass together. And it's not only part of the structure, but it's also functional because it's actually the antenna system. And Apple made a big deal about this design feature that it uh, had the antennas, one on the left, one on the right, and one on the base of the phone. And so immediate speculation was that the touch from your hand and, and possibly the sweat and things like that were causing the antenna structure to either ground out or just possibly blocking or detracting from those signals. And I, I couldn't understand how Apple could let that big of a design flaw get through. Now the reports were saying that people were still able to make phone calls even though there was low bars showing on the phone. Well, later this evening I saw a report over on macOS Rumors that said this issue may have been around for a while, even with the iPhone 3G and the 3GS. And so there's some videos online, you can see the iPhone 4 doing this behavior, but turns out I was able to replicate the issue with my iPhone 3GS. So I think there's something bigger going on here, and luckily I don't think it's a design flaw on the iPhone, but I thought I'd do a little video for you to show you what's going on. So this is my iPhone um, 3GS, it's just a standard iPhone 3GS. You can see there right now, it's got about four bars um, nothing special about it, you know, just 16 gigabyte iPhone 3GS. Um, and just sitting there on the desk, four bars, no problem. If you pick up the phone and you cradle it, and let me zoom out so you can kind of see how I'm holding it, and even jumped up to five bars there, so that's good for our demo. If you cradle it like this, and this is the same way people would hold the iPhone 4 in the videos that were showing this potential problem, kind of with your thumb by the volume rocker and the and the hold switch there, and then the pad of your hand down around this. And, and the key here, I think, is to get as much of your hand kind of covering the back of the device as possible. And it does take a, a second or two, but you'll start to see it's already started to drop signal. I'm already down to uh, two bars. And if we wait long enough, probably another second or two, we can probably even get it to drop down to just a single bar. There you go. And so it's dropped all the way down to a single bar. And if I just simply take my hand away and give it a moment, it will start to reacquire that signal and it'll start to just slowly go back up. And eventually we'll get back up to uh, four and maybe even five bars, so full signal. So it's something that has been existing. It's nothing new to the iPhone uh, 4 that I can see, so that's one worry. I think we don't have to worry about, uh, well, we might have to worry about it in the long term for all of the iPhone devices, try and figure out what's going on here, but uh, certainly not a design flaw with a new model. And uh, that makes me feel better about going in to pick up my iPhone 4 in the morning, and I, I hope that helps you too. And, kind of demystifies some of the speculation and stuff that's been going around on, on the web this evening.